Okay, friends, today is another long anticipated um, video about long division. Now, long division is a way to divide. However, if after today's lessons you just are still really struggling, two things. One, practice long division every single day. One problem. Have mom or dad make up a problem. Look up problems online. Practice every single day. Two, work on, use your ratio table or your um, area model to divide. However, I am going to say long division this way is probably the quickest and most efficient and what you will probably use as you go further along in school. Okay? But to start off as fourth graders, I have some helpful hints for you. Some helpful ways to remember the steps. Because long division is a lot of steps, okay? And if you are someone who is really confident in your math facts, you're going to be ready for long division. If you still haven't mastered your math facts, that's telling you you should practice because this may be a little bit more challenging. Okay, so from, for long division, you just have to think of a little phrase. And the phrase starts with the letters U-D-M-S-B. But that's not going to help me. A little sentence is going to help me. So if you can remember, ugly, dead monkeys smell bad, you can remember the steps of division. So for you, the ugly, what that really means is you're going to be doing some underlining. And I'm obviously going to show you some examples. The D for the dead is you're going to have to divide. The M in monkeys really means you're going to multiply. The S for smell is really going to be subtracting. And the B for bad is bring down. So if you can have the ugly dead monkey smell bad kind of phrase, you will know that you'll have to underline, divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. You have to do these steps in order. You can't jump around, okay? All right, so I'm gonna show you three examples today. Notice, I have my underline, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. When you're working, have this out. I will create a poster for you of our little um, acronyms so you can refer back to it you can have that open while you're working, I'll have a poster for you made. It will be underneath today's assignment. But here I have my ugly dead monkey smell bad or my underlying divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. Let's look at our first problem. Okay. And we are going to be working with three by two digit multiplication or three by one digit or division. Okay, so let's say I have 168 divided by 8. I know 8 is my divisor because it's my smaller number. 168 is my dividend and my quotient will go on top. Okay, so I'm just going to follow my steps. The first thing I'm going to do is underline. Okay, I'm going to underline the first number of my div uh, dividend, 1. Well, I ask myself, can 8 go into 1? No. So I have to keep underlining. Okay, can 8 go into 16? Okay, yes it can, so I know I'm done with underlining. Okay, then I move on to divide. What this means, it's, what it's really asking you is the underlined, 16, what is 16 divided by 8? If you know that in your head, awesome. Another way you can ask yourself this is what times 2, oh, I almost gave away the answer. What times 8 is 16? Well, I know 16 divided by 8 is 2, and I know 2 times 8 is 16. So I'm going to put my 2 on top of my house, my answer to my division problem, and I divided. Okay? Now, the next step is to multiply. What you just laid down on top of your house, 
2, you have to multiply that times your divisor. So in this case, it's going to be 2 times 8, which is 16. And I put it right underneath my underlined number. So I multiplied. Perfect. Then you subtract. Okay. Oh, this is an easy one. 16 minus 16 is 0. Cool. Bring, I subtracted. Now I have to bring down. I look at, do I have any numbers left in my di dividend? I've worked with the 1 and the 6, but I still have my 8. So I have to bring down that 8. Look, at, I'm going to bring down that arrow, and I'm going to put it right next to my 8. I brought down. Now you start all over again. You go back up to the front, and you start over. All right, I have to underline. Can 8 go into 0? No, so I just extend it. Okay, how many times? So I underlined again. Now I'm at divide. What is 8 divided by 8? Or I can ask myself, 8 times what is 8? I know 8 divided by 8 is 1. So I'm going to put it right at my 1 on top of my house, right above my 8. Then I multiply. This is where people get confused. I just put my 1 down, so I'm going to multiply 1 times 8, not 21 times 8. I already did the 2, so I know 1 times 8 is 8, so I'm going to put that 8 right underneath that 8. Oh, and multiplied. Oh, what comes next? Subtract. I have a 0, so I subtracted. Do I have any other numbers to bring down? Nope. So I can be certain that I'm done. And I want to make sure I finished with a zero. Do I have a zero? Yes. So I can be confident that I am done with my steps. So right now, I think that 168 divided by 8 is 21. But I always check my work. So I'm going to do 21, my quotient, times my divisor. And if I'm right, I should get my dividend, which is 168. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 168. Do not move on until you have checked your work. But that's as simple as that. Okay, let's try again. This time, we are going to divide 800... 28 divided by 6. Now work along with me. Have your whiteboard and do what I do. Okay, I'm going to change color here. I'm going to go to blue. All right, my first step is to underline. So I'm going to underline my first number in my dividend, my 8. I ask myself, can 6 go into 8? Yes, so that is my underlined number. Okay, I divide. So that's like saying, what is 8 divided by 6? Well, I know that 8 and 6 can't go into 8. But I can ask myself, how many times can 6 go into 8 without going over? Okay, so 6 can go into 8 one time without going over. So I put that 1 right above my 8 because that's the number I'm looking at right now. Okay, so I divided. That's my division. Then I multiply. What I just put down, my 1 times my divisor, 6. So 1 times 6 is 6. Put that right underneath my underlined number. You're only working underneath that underlined number. Notice I don't have anything under the 2 or the 8. Okay, so I did my multiplying. Now I have to subtract. Okay, um, 8 minus 6 is 2. Cool. Subtracted. And now I have to bring down. Okay, I'm going to bring down my 2. You only bring down one number at a time. So I'm going to put my 2 right on, underneath, next to my subtracted 2, or my the difference between 6 and 8. Okay, brought down. And now I start all over again. Okay, I go back to my underline. Okay, can 6 go into 2? No, but can 6 go into 22? Yes. Okay, 6 can go into 22, so I 
underlined. Then I ask myself, I know six can't go into 22 nicely, so I ask myself, how many times can six go into 22 without going over? Okay, well, I know that's three. I'll put that three above the two. Did my division. Now I have to multiply. I'm going to multiply three times eight because I just put that three down, not 13. Okay, three, I'm sorry, three times six I know is 18, so I'm going to put that down. Did my multiplying. Then I have to subtract. Okay, I know I can't subtract eight from two, so I borrow from the two. Okay, 12 minus eight is four. And so that's my subtraction. And I don't have to put the zero in front. And now I look to see if I have any numbers that I need to bring down. Yep, I do. I gotta bring down that eight. So I'm gonna go all the way down and put it next to my difference of 22 minus 18. And now I'm working with 48. So one more time, you are going to underline. Can six go into four? No, but I have an eight right next door. So I'm gonna extend that. Can six go into 48? Yes. Now I divide, ooh, I know that 48 divided by six is a nice number, but if I don't know that, I can ask myself, what times six is 48? Ooh, I know that's eight. So that's my division. Then I multiply whatever I just put down, which is my eight. Eight times six is 48, it's a nice little rhyme. So I multiply. Then I subtract. Nice. 48 minus 48 is zero. I ended with a zero. Do I have anything to bring down? No. So I can say I did it because I don't have anything to do. So I can feel confident that I am done. I have nothing left over and I ended in a zero and nothing to bring down. So right now I think 828 divided by six is 138. But I'm gonna check 138 times six, my quotient times my divisor, should give me um, 828. Six times eight is 48. Six times three is 18, 19, 20, 20, 22. And six times one is six plus two is eight, 828. Now, this next one, I'm gonna show you in a completely different video because it's a little bit different. Okay, so watch for part two of this video.